Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and today's video will teach you how to use the dual page display with Smart Notebook 10.0. This is a great feature. Say, for example, you're teaching kids the order of operations, and you want that up there all the time, but you also want to give them some space to try some of the problems. You can use dual page display. You might also use it, for example, if you're collecting data and you want them to answer some questions on the data you've collected. So I've got a simple example to show you. Let's go to the next slide. Here's a simple um, survey. What kind of pizza would you like? So I could go to the next slide. What is the total number of votes received? But then I'd have to go back to that slide to have the students answer the question. In comes the dual page display. The dual page display is an icon on your toolbar and it is located right here. Now it's right next to the full, page, full screen view icon as well and they look an awful lot alike. But the dual page one is right next to the full page. So I'm going to click on that. And notice what it did is it, now I have two pages showing at the same time. But I need to have those aren't the two I need, so I'm going to use the arrow keys and come over. And there we go. So I have the data and I have the question showing at the same time, which is pretty neat. But watch what happens when I go to the next question. My data disappears. You can, if you'd like, do what's called a pin page. I would like this page right here with the data always to remain there even as I go through the other slides in the notebook file. So what you'll want to do is what's called a pin page. Now get the, the page that you want on the left side of the screen. Then go up to view, zoom, pin page. And now it looks like little two little pins are holding that page in and I can go to the next page and that one always stays there. Pretty neat, huh? Now, another little cool trick about the dual page display are items can be moved from one page to another. For example, I can take this graphic of a slice of pizza and move it over to that page. So that's a pretty neat little um, versatile trick that you can use with that. To get your dual page to stop, you simply go back up to the same icon, you click on it, and now it goes to single page display. And that is how you use that feature. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time.